Okay, gonna put the couplers on for the motor now. Uh, these are the three couplers. They look like they're the same diameter. Oh, that one's different. I'm gonna presume that's for the Z axis because the X and Y are the same. So the motor I know is beefier on the other axis. So I'm gonna pop on these two couplers here onto their appropriate spindles and then uh, get ready to mount the motor. The X and Y couplers just slid on and clamped on with that little uh, Allen there. The uh, Z, I actually had to tap on a little bit to get it to go down more over the top spindle. It seemed to hang up for some reason, not quite sure why. But uh, I'll take a closer look at it here. See, oh, you know, I bet you it's that set screw that's in there. I want to loosen that set screw and uh, try it again. Okay, on closer examination, interestingly enough, the X and Y did not have set screws in the coupler, but the Z did, which is sort of weird. There's no flat machined into the spindle, so I mean, I don't see what more the set screw is going to buy me. I guess another clamping point if it's a tougher pull. Um, but uh, there you go. Uh, before I hook up the motors, going to do a uh, bench test on the motor system and controller with the software and all the new configuration stuff I need to figure out on the software to get it to work but we pretty much got everything in place um, in the process of milling the massive three inch hole that I had or three inch deep hole that I had to put here for a one inch gap I ended up destroying the motor gears and you can't see in the observation portal but I shaved off the plastic gear that's in here so now I've ordered a uh, pulley modification to this unit to make it uh, pulley driven instead of gear driven um, and uh, we'll, we're going to go from there okay <clears throat> we got the test bench here for the three axis motors the controllers the board the power supply and uh, my first issue is this stupid board you know this whole pin cable thing I mean that died years ago you know it's dumb I can't believe they still make stuff of that today I'm gonna see if I can order a uh, USB board that has this can a USB connector instead of this uh, printer port because it's just such a pain in the ass you have to order so many other things to get that printer port to work in any normal computer today since most don't have printer ports so anyways that's the setup I'll continue this party when I find another board to replace this and uh, the bill just keeps ringing up on this uh, modification here it's starting to make me wonder if it would have been worth it to just save a little more money and just do a uh, Tormach kind of mill you know and spin spend the nine ten grand so anyways we're gonna go down this road and we'll see what we get okay here's our electronic continuation of our CNC conversion you can see I have the new controller here to give some point of reference, this was the old one with the parallel port that came with the kit that was purchased from uh, Automation Technologies. Pretty much a waste of time as far as I'm concerned because who the hell has a parallel port? So, now I've got it all wired up and Mach 3 is not cooperating with moving any of the motors. I double checked the basics which was the voltage. Let me get it set up here. So you can see I've uh, got the voltage meter going here. If you can hear it, that's the fan running on the power supply. So I'll measure the voltage here. And you can see I get nothing on the voltmeter. So there's no voltage coming out of the 48 volt side of this unit. So I'm gonna email Automation Tech and maybe I got a defective power supply. Um, or 
or some other element here missing to get this thing to spit out 48 volts. But the fan is running, so I know 120 is getting in, but 48 is not coming out. 